<laughs> All right, ready? Okay, you ready? Yes. Confirmation, there you go. We've been tagged in a video. That's fun. We're Retro Rival Scott and Jen, and we're going to do a video on five games under $10 plus one bonus. We were tagged by Steve Craig Retro Games, or Steve. Am I gonna be able to talk at some point here? <laughs> Maybe. So in no particular order, or is it in an order? This is why we're not letting you talk. Okay. Because you said, are these in an order? And then I gave you the sheet, we put them in order, and then you decide to tell everybody they're not even in an order. I don't even. They're in an you. order by price point. So highest price to lowest point. Just keep talking. <laughs> So our first game on the list came in at exactly $10, and we're talking about... Bayonetta on the Xbox 360. I lied, that came in at 1037. Wait, let me consult the list. 1037. <laughs> this is not going well. What did you drink or <laughs> sniff or smoke or what? Like, what's wrong with you? I don't know, I'm just, I'm going to beat a game tonight. I'm very excited about it. So this is my recommendation. Yes because I'm the only one who played this. Yes. The other person's and you like sexy Jesus. librarians. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I really like the first ever. game. I didn't care much for the second one. So much so that he didn't get the third. Yeah. 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 And she yeah. cut her hair. Oh. Anyway. Hair Maybe she'd be more naked though, because she cut her hair, right? That was her whole suit? That's, yeah. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know, I don't get her women. All right, so that's game number five. Game number four coming in at, let me consult my list, exactly $10. See, I knew I would get it right. Is. That's one. That is enough. Is. Evil Within 2. Two on the PS4. I was so excited this came in at $10 because this is a phenomenal game. There was an Easter egg hinting at that there would be an Evil Within 3 in a game that just released not all that long ago. I am really hoping they make a third one. This is a phenomenal survival horror game with some open world elements. Just very, very interesting story. It's very well rounded. I love it. Number three. Number three. This is your bonus pick. Oh yes. So this was a weird one because when I looked it up, it came in over $10, like closer to the $11 mark. So I'm like, I can't add it. And then I kept scrolling down my list of games we owned because that was one of the criteria. You had to own the game. And a new copy of it came in at $10. Price charting, I question everything you do right now. Yeah. There we go. Until Dawn, Rush of Blood. We didn't want to put this in our <laughs> standard this, list. This one's more expensive, apparently. Right now. Than, than the new one sealed. Yeah. <laughs> but we wanted to add that as an honorable mention because, you know, you have to have the VR as well as the PS4. My favorite game to play at Halloween. Yeah. yeah. Also, it's anytime we have people over and they haven't played the VR, they're like, oh, you're in for a treat. You're going to play this. <laughs> and there's lots of replay value to it because if yep. you wanted to go high score, you could do that. You can do that. Yeah. yeah. So I really enjoyed it. You really enjoyed it. it. scared the shit out of me when you played it because you were screaming. And we were scared. Coming up at number three on the list is a game that I played, Indigo Prophecy. Indigo Prophecy on the original Xbox. Yes. This one comes in at 947. This is a choice based game. Um, it's very, very interesting. The only thing I didn't really enjoy about this game is part of the end sequence was a little bit cheesy. Up until that point, I really enjoyed it because he's kind of going in and out of this like psychosis state. You could relate. <laughs> I could relate. <laughs> Don't ask me to make a choice between my faith and my brother. I'm not turning myself in until I understand what happened. We were right to have chosen you. 
All right, next pick is mine. Yes. What's the price, Vanna? The price is. I gotta do the Vanna thing. $8.80. For Onomusha on the PS2. I also have it on the uh, original Xbox. I don't know if it's the same price, less, more, whatever. This is the yeah. way I played it the first time. Yeah. Uh, basically, Resident Evil Samurai. Yeah. Basically, because I think the developers, when they first started it, uh, making the game, it was going to be a Resident Evil game yeah. based in J Japan, I assume. And then something happened along the way, and then it became its own thing. Did we even pronounce that right? Because I know for a long time we pronounced it. Onomosha. Yeah. For a long time Warlords. we pronounced it wrong. I blame a friend. I do too. Because <laughs> they're not here to defend themselves. So that's <laughs> this is the best friend to have. All right. All right. Last Very one. last game on our list. Probably wouldn't be the last game you would mention. Oh, no. no. And you just played it recently. On the PS3. Yes. South Park. Super dirt cheap. Stick of Truth. Yeah, 664. 664. The uh, copy on the 360 is also in that same yeah, ballpark. Yeah, 665. Um, you can also get them, but they're going to be more. You can get them on the modern consoles. You can get them on Xbox One and PS4. PS4. And they're ranging around here in the pawn shops around $15. Yeah. But I'm oh. going to tell you what. This is not it's for about kids. a 12 hour <laughs> game. It's uh, not for kids. RPG? I, yeah, RPG. If you love South Park comedy, like, I laughed the whole time. Oh. I laughed the whole time. So much so that I I had to go out and get the uh, the fractured butthole. Yeah, yeah. Fractured butthole. Uh, but hole. Is this a Burger King thing? Hole? <laughs> no? No! Don't let him chew wash your brain, you kid. Cartman is the one you should be fighting against. The elves are attacking! Don't ask why Kenny wanted to be a chick, it's just how he seems to be rolling right now. They have blown their war horn! Blue eyes, Stan! It's a school night, hon. You and your little druid friends need to- We're not druids, Mom! We're fucking warriors and wizards! All right, so... Steve was kind enough to ask us beforehand if we wanted to be tagged or we had been tagged. It is uh, 11.36 on a Sunday evening and we didn't contact anybody. So they'll be Surprise! finding out when you find out that yeah. they've been tagged. So we each tagged a person just in case one of them's already been tagged and they can both do it. Um, I am going to tag Samantha because she's another female gamer, Samantha Azira. And I think her picks will probably sway mostly modern for the same reason you picked. Mondane. Yeah. Mondane Designs. And his picks will probably, I would be surprised if they're not more retro. You know what? It's getting very difficult to find retro games under $10. Yeah. No that, matter what. That are not the exact same ones everybody, everybody else Everybody mentions the same thing mentioned. all the time. And that's why we didn't go grab, you know, loose carts of Nintendo yeah. and, and stuff like that because They've... everybody's said it a thousand times already on YouTube. So I exactly. wanted to do something a little bit different. Hopefully we have some games on this list that maybe everybody else may not be thinking of when they're thinking of games under $10. Exactly. All right, thanks so much for the tag, and until next time, game on. Teddy snored the entire time. You're doing your best snoring, though, Ted Bear. I kind of want to add a picture of him at the end of the you video. Should.